Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome to the Gaming Floor. Today in this unturned map editor tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your very own beach. And this is going to include uh, naturally generated resources as well, as requested. So this is the area I'm going to be making the beach on. I'm going to be making it all around here, and I'll be working with different types of beaches, including the stereotypical clean beach for tourists, the trashed beach, and maybe a resort style beach as well. So anyway, um, I'm going to get into actually building the beach itself and uh, you'll be able to watch me do that sped up. So I will see you on the other side.
Alright guys, so there's the beach done. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, we've got uh, this part of the beach over here, which is like your average, uh, pretty flat, nice, uh, people-friendly beach. We also have a lodge over here, and we've got a stony section of the beach, which has just a bunch of rocks along the coastline and farther into the water. And then we also have this sort of area, which is not much of a beach, but can still be considered a beach because there's some sand and water and stuff. But pretty much, you know, we've got another lodge up here with like a nice place to sit and look out at maybe the sunset over the lake or whatever. Then over here, we've got the polluted, trashed part of the beach, and we've just got debris sitting everywhere. And yeah, those are the uh, four main types of beach, I guess. So pretty much, um, this user friendly or people friendly beach has got three main components. We've got the chair, the umbrella, the cooler. We've got the farther back area, which has got the benches and the barbecues, places where people hang out, eat food, stuff like that. Um, this area is where they get suntanned, you know, sort of play around in the sand. Then we've got the close up to the water edge of the area, which has got these uh, sand castles. And we've got uh, the boats and the docks and stuff like that. So yeah, those are the three main sections of the, the people beach then you've got this lodge over here um, this is a good type of lodge lodge number one that would be really good for sitting really close to the water or perhaps in the water this um, deck part could definitely be in the water um, the only problem with placing these is you've got to have work work with the sand and the landscape a little bit so you don't have sand all up in the building but yeah it's still a really good piece to have you know around the beach really close as well um, for the stone beach, I pretty much just took three types of uh, rock and just placed them around. I got this little pebbly area, I, well not really pebbly, but bouldery area. We got these singular boulders in the sand. We got this pretty much solid rock area where it's pretty much just this uh, boulder number two. Then we got a com combined area of you know boulder number one, boulder number two. But yeah, so pretty much... These are the boulder area rocks. Um, over here for this polluted beach, um, I pretty much took, there's just a bunch of random stuff up here. I pretty much just looked through all the items and picked out stuff that I would think would be good for a beach. Um, this includes, there's an elevator shaft, oven, fridge, uh, microwave, we've got crates, HESCO, dishwasher, barrels, cardboard, pipe, Debris, garbage, manhole cover, filing cabinets, wood pallets, uh, containers, these would be larger features, um, logs, wreck, I didn't actually even know this was an item, but apparently there's a shipwreck, bit of a uh, piece there, and an oil rig. I mean, of course, you guys, if you got anything else you want to add, anything just from throughout the world, you can pretty much just throw it in there, because, you know, you find all sorts of crazy stuff at the beach. And pretty much, I just distribute that throughout the water, different different depths, uh, even in the sand itself, not even in the water, you know, stuff like that. Also, with this cool container, I had it so you can still go inside it, so you can hide items inside it, stuff like that. So, yeah, just distribute trash if you're making that type of beach all throughout the beach, you know, whatever you feel is good. I also place these power lines along the top of the beach. Just because I think it adds a little more um, detail to the beach that's not necessary, but it sort of just, you know, sort of caps it off. It, it makes a good boundary line for the beach. Okay guys, so, um, funny thing, as I started to work with the details and the resources on the material, um, the game actually crashed, and so all of the, all of the, uh, the beach was uh, erased, because I didn't save. And so, yeah, so for the sake of testing, I'm going to be doing all the material testing and the detail testing on this little patch of uh, beach, quote unquote. So, um, by default, if you go to details and bake, uh, beach should not only have these pebbles on it. They should not be, they should not have any of the, the grass or any of the flowers or anything like that. And I will show you why this is. So, there's two things that control 
how thickly and what types of details are found on a material. So first if we go to materials, let me make this smaller, get it out of the way. And if we look under sand, there's a bunch of uh, check marks here and X's. And there's also chance, overgrowth, steepness, um, all this stuff over here as well. So, to some extent, overgrowth and chance increase um, the amount that uh, the details and the materials spawn on there. So they don't they don't completely control that, but I would have those up just a little bit. The the main thing that really controls what type of details spawn on the material is all these check marks. So foundation and generated have nothing to do with it, don't worry about that. Uh, the ones that really have to do with it are um, snowy, rocky, flowery, grassy, and grassy. Those two types. So by default they will have rocky checked and this is a good thing to sort of stick with. So now we just need to head over to the details tab with uh, the fact in mind that rocky is checked. And you'll start to see a correlation here pretty quickly. So over in all these specific details for each one of these, there's also similar check marks. We've got grass, flower, rock, and snow. And the rock is the one that we want to pay attention to because rocky was checked on the sand material. So we're going to scroll down and we're going to see what's checked for rocky. And the only things that should be checked are the different types of pebbles. And those are actually what's showing up, so we know it's working so far. So we've got uh, the three type of pebbles, pebbles 0, 1, and 2. And so let's say we want to get rid of them. All we have to do is uncheck them from rock and rebake. And there should be none, and there are none. It works as expected because you know, it just works like that. So let's put them back, assuming that you want to have them on your beach. If you don't, obviously uncheck them. But let's say we want to increase the frequency and you know the number of them. So, I'm going to suggest that you leave density alone. If you start messing with density, you start to get these weird patterns appearing out of your details. So let's just boost up chance a little bit, uh, a little bit at a time. What crashed uh, it last time when I was messing with it is I put chance all the way to the max for all three of those. And I just think the amount of pebbles was way too much. So as you guys can see, there's obviously plenty of pebbles here. Um, if we want to boost this up even more, we can. And yeah, so it's just going to boost the amount of pebbles. And as you can see, uh, it doesn't spawn them in right away if you just might have to go closer to them. Now, let's say uh, we want to add a little bit of flowers to, or maybe a little bit of grass to our uh, beach. All we have to do, check rock. It doesn't matter that grass already has uh, grass checked. And we're going to put down the chance, just because we don't want too much. Okay, so after we bake it, uh, we should see now a few pieces of grass here and there starting to appear in our sand. Now, obviously, we can change that. We can boost that up and bake that again, and we'll have a really a lot. Or we can take it down even less. Uh, don't put any of these sliders at zero. If you put the sliders at zero, they're not going to spawn at all. So if you put either density or chance at zero, neither of them are going to spawn. So you're going to want at least a little bit. So we'll put just a tiny bit of grass. And of course, as, as many times as you press bake, it will change those many times. So if you perhaps don't like a pattern it gives you, you can just rebake it and it'll randomize it again. And so let's also put, you know, maybe a flower type. Let's put this orange flower here at the top. As with uh, the uh, grass, all we got to do is check the rock and uh, maybe put up the chance just a little bit. And now occasionally we will have some clumps of flowers. Now as you can see for the flowers, the density was up quite a bit. If we lower that down, we're going to start to see one flower at a time here and there. Um, yeah, so there we are. Okay, so let's check out this anomaly that I was talking about before. When you put up density a little too high, so um, let's say that we put density up a little too high, and as you guys can s immediately see, really, um, we have start getting this weird band where we've just got all these pebble number two just in this line, and if we put it up even higher, it's going to become even tighter, 
And, you know, let's do this for the other pebbles and we'll see how badly we can get this. Really, if you put it all the way up, we should end up with one pretty solid band of pebbles. Um, yep, that's pretty much it. We've got just one band of pebbles and everywhere else doesn't have any. So yeah, I'm not really sure why this happens. I think it's kind of a bug. But uh, that's pretty much why you don't want to put density all the way up. So uh, let's move on to some resources here. We'll just leave the pebbles like that because I don't really care. So um, the resources work about the same way as the details. So pretty much um, whatever has rock checked will be placed inside the sandy area because sand also had rock checked. So let's say we want to add some bushes to just maybe just a really few to our beach. So we're going to add rock there and let's bake uh, local. And baking locally only uh, bakes the area that was inside our vision. So let's bake global and that will actually bake the entire map. And here we go. We've got uh, one bush here. And as you can see the chance, the density are pretty high. So the reason we're not getting um, many uh, bushes at all on our map is because the overgrowth and chance are pretty low. So we were going to want to boost the chance up if we're going to want to see, you know, many of these bushes. So let's bake it again. And we should start to see some of them appearing. So yeah, we've got uh, quite, I mean, not that many more, but after boosting those up again, let's bake again and uh, see how many we get. So now as you see, it's obviously drastically uh, boosted. And so yeah, that's pretty much how it works. If you remove it, it removes it from the sand. And obviously baking these resources are going to be a lot more uh, CPU intense and are going to last a lot longer because they're just larger materials that are being placed on the map. So yeah, you can pretty much put bushes and trees and stuff in there as well. You can also place them by hand, so if you get super picky, you can do that as well. And obviously get rid of them if you don't like them. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that covered pretty much the building of the map itself, um, and also the resources and how to control those. So anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video and learned something from this. Um, hopefully you guys will be able to take this basic tutorial and completely expand from this, add your own ideas, make it completely unique and amazing. So anyway guys, thank you for joining me today, and I will see you all later.